Unlocking Ancient Mysteries, The Psychedelic Secrets of the Nymphia Blue Lotus in Ancient Egypt. so vital to a civilization that it intertwines itself with their religion, art, and daily life. This isn't a figment of fantasy, but a reality in ancient Egypt with the enchanting Blue Lotus. The journey of understanding the Blue Lotus starts in the early 20th century. Archaeologists, while excavating tombs of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs, stumbled upon a peculiar blue flower painted on the walls, carved into sculptures, and even entwined with mummified remains. They identified this flower as the blue lotus, known scientifically as Nymphia carulea, an aquatic plant native to the regions of East Africa and Southeast Asia. Delving deeper, researchers discovered that the blue lotus held a significant place in ancient Egyptian culture. The flower, with its enchanting blue petals and golden heart, symbolized creation and rebirth. It was believed to be a divine gift from the sun god, Ra, who emerged from its petals every morning to bring light and life to the world. As dusk fell, Ra would retreat into the lotus, marking the end of the day. As a symbol of rebirth, the blue lotus was also closely associated with the concept of the afterlife. Ancient Egyptians believed that just as the lotus folded its petals at night and bloomed with the morning sun, human souls would also experience a cycle of death and rebirth. This belief was so deeply ingrained in their culture that the Blue Lotus was often included in funerary rites. With tomb paintings and carvings depicting the deceased emerging from the flower, signifying their rebirth in the afterlife. But the influence of the Blue Lotus didn't stop there. It was more than just a religious symbol. The ancient Egyptians also discovered its sedative and euphoric properties. They found that when soaked in wine or brewed as a tea, the Blue Lotus induced a state of relaxed euphoria, making it a popular choice for social and religious gatherings. However, despite its deep-rooted significance, the use of the Blue Lotus gradually declined with the fall of the Egyptian civilization, and it slipped into oblivion for centuries. It was only with the discovery of the flower in the early 20th century that the world once again turned its attention to the captivating Blue Lotus. To summarize the Blue Lotus, a seemingly simple aquatic plant, held a profound significance in ancient Egyptian culture. It was deeply intertwined with their religion, symbolizing creation, rebirth, and the afterlife. Beyond its symbolic value, it was also valued for its sedative and euphoric properties, making it a key part of social and religious events. Though its use declined with the fall of the Egyptian civilization, the rediscovery of the Blue Lotus in the 20th century has once again brought this fascinating flower into the limelight, offering us a glimpse into the lives and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians.